Hello, my name is Ali and welcome to my channel. We are back with Mystic Destiny Serendipity Beyond. Takumi's are out. Let's go. I teleport with Aurelia right in the middle of a big fight between several vampires and the guys. As we appear on the scene, I see Jinsaw pointing a gun my way. Oh crap. Us having apparently gotten into his trajectory. He nearly shoots me, but Naoki runs towards me, picks me up, and moves me before I even have time to process what's going on. I would love to see that. If they had a CG of that, that'd be, a, that'd be hilarious. I would love it. <laughs> he runs off again just as quick. Nice job, Munchie. Really put us right in the middle of the action. Aurelia takes out a fancy-looking dagger of her own and thrusts it into a random nearby vampire's shoulder. I only have time to notice numerous bodies on the floor before one of the vampires comes at me. I panic end up somehow dodging him, and then I kick him away from me. Nice one, Munchie. Have you been training with Taku? Yasu yells as he shoots a vampire charging at him right between the eyes. Ooh, the vampire crumpers, crumples to the floor. Crumple, crumpers. Okay, that's an interesting word I tried to say. Actually, no. With me. Unlike the others, I have no time for snarky comments. I decided to try out a spell. I've been studying to make people fall unconscious. Because after what happened last time, I don't want to kill anyone. My goal is to snap my fingers and make one of the random vampires fighting everyone to pass out at once. But something goes wrong and one of the vampires ends up being thrown back at a wall. Oh my god, that's hilarious. He almost hits Naoki who nearly dodges it. If that's what you call helping, don't. Sorry. Amidst the mayhem, I notice now calmly take down opponent after opponent. He seems to be employing some sort of precise martial arts moves instead of the street fighting all the other vampires use. I don't have time to wonder about him before another vampire is upon me. He grabs me and squeezes so hard that I think my bones are going to break. I snap my fingers in his face. He passes out, and I fall to the ground with him. I quickly roll away and get up. Suddenly, oh jeez, look at the clones. <laughs> Suddenly a group of vampires rush in. Like there's barely any differences between them. Like this one doesn't have the bottom teeth that this one has, but this one just has lip closed a little more. But they look almost exactly like just a little bit of art change. I hear some of them yell for the silver dogs before quickly joining in the fight. I watch as the vampires fight each other and I'm actually not sure who is who at anymore. They do look alike, so I understand. I just try to stay out of the way, as I don't want to accidentally attack someone who's on our side. So I settle for defending my friends instead. Snapping my fingers several times, I knock out quite a few vampires that were attacking. I love it, you hear in the background. In this manner, the battle is quickly over and everyone's left breathing heavily. Aurelia stands to face the vampires that identified themselves as silver dogs. Why are you here? We knew Azucena's trap for Naoki and Detective Yasuhiro, so we decided to take this that chance to kill off as many of her loyalists as possible. With this victory, we who are only loyal to Kenzo Okira will be able to take over the gang again. Hold up. Trap? Where's Azucena? She's not here. Once she heard that you had woken up, she knew you'd come after her eventually. She's been hiding out for days. Another vampire steps forward, one that I recognize as the leader of the Silver Dogs. Tuneo? Okay. I believe she was following a lead about that white-haired kid, if you want to go after her. She probably had her lover boy with her, too. He adds the last part, nodding at now, who gives no expression. You just want us to take care of her for you? Of course. So we wish you all the luck and thank you for your help so far. He laughs and leaves, but not before ordering his men to clean up the mess on the floor. My information must have been bad. It was meant to get us killed. God damn it. I'm sorry. Yasu pats Jinsel in the back. This chick is devious as hell and hard to catch. Don't worry about it. 
I can't hold it in anymore. Ugh! What now? Where is Taku? Oh, jeez. Something nearby explodes, causing Yasu to just narrowly dodge the shrapnel. Naoki's steady and cool voice comes in, then cutting through my frustration. Calm down and think about it this logically. You know him well. What do you think he's doing? Where would he be now? The last we know of him, he was upset because of what happened to me. Me getting shot by Azusina. I know Takumi. He must be trying to do something stupid. Going after Azusina. Or even trying to find a way out of humanity. Oh my god. Is he going to get a vampire to bite him? Oh hell no. Really, dude? Naoki suddenly frowns and looks away. You don't think. If he is, I'll murder him myself. I look at everyone in confusion. What? What do you all mean? But then, everything clicks. Wait. Taku and Jun are together. So you think... We all look at each other. Come with me. Ooh, chapter 13. Ooh, we're already on chapter 13. Look at that. Nor? I think that's how you say that. I don't know. Naoki brings us to an unexpected place, Carnivalis, the place where the fight between Takumi and June took place. The place seems empty, and Naoki goes up to the bar looking for a bartender. I push my hood back a little, and a girl comes out. Is it Haruna? Yep, mm-hmm. Ah, Mr. Naoki, how are you? Pressed for time, Haruna. Has June been by here tonight? Uh, yes. Sort of. He and a beautiful lady came through, but it didn't look like Mr. June wanted to be with her. Mr. June just looked at me and they went through the back. The only thing that's back there is access to the rooftop, though. I didn't get a good look at him, but he didn't look good. Uh, I thought I saw blood. I'm sure I did. Was there a man with white hair, too? Oh, yes, there was. He didn't look well at all, either. Everyone looks at each other. Naoki gives a quick nod and starts heading towards the back. Oh, are you going up there, too? We are. Thanks for your help. I hope everything's okay. With that, we go towards the back and with grim expressions. I find myself praying to whoever or whatever might be listening that Takumi is all right. Naoki opens the door to the rooftop, and even through the rain, we immediately spot who we're looking for. <gasps> oh my god. My heart. It hurts. <laughs> oh no. Am I going to cry again? I've already cried once in his route, I believe. Have I? I don't know. I don't remember. I might have. Azusina and Takumi, who's fighting against her with daggers, while she only uses a gu her gun to block. My god. He looks like hell. What have they done to him? My first instinct is to run to him, but Aurelia places a firm hand on my arm. I look at her, but she only shakes her head. We can't distract him. I'm able to understand her mouthed words, and I whip my head back around to watch Takumi, frustrated with my own uselessness. Seconds fall like hours as the two fight back and forth, Azusina easily holding her own against Takumi. As the fight goes on, I notice it. Something's not right. Something's off about Takumi. Oh, <gasps> he already has fangs. Oh my god. He's different. He's covered in sweat, holding himself with one arm, shaking. His eyes keep changing strangely, like a weird, vivid purple glow. It... he isn't. No, not a... God fucking damn it. Why would he do this? He's gone too damn far. I look around the rooftop, and off to the side I spot June being held back by several vampires. Azucena seems to be having fun fighting Taku, and she only spares us a triumphant glance. More of Azucena... Azucena? Azucena? <laughs> More of Azucena's lackeys file in behind us, blocking off the door. 
One thing is clear, Azucena planned even this. We walked right into another trap. Azucena moves at a leisurely pace during the entire fight, and I know she thinks she's won. Everyone around me seems to be evaluating the situation and her every move. Azucena holds her gun up and actually shoots at Takumi this time, forcing him to leap back to avoid the bullets. Things are at a standstill until Takumi stops and finally sees us. Sees me, alive and well. Locking eyes with me, he freezes. An opportunity that leaves an opening for Azucena, which she gladly takes. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh my god. The shot hits him hard, sending him flying backward. Takumi falls to the ground. Takumi! Nothing else matters. I run towards him, which immediately causes everyone to start fighting. The vampires surround everyone, and Yasu and Jinsul pull out their guns and start a firefight. I have to get him. This is the only thought that dominates my mind entirely. I move through the chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Naoki attacks Azucena, dodging her bullets, in between landing a few hits of his own. I dodge out of the way of the vampire, and with a snap of my fingers, he crumples to the ground. A cold sensation momentarily grips at my heart, but I ignore it and keep moving. Yasu keeps trying to get Azucena, yelling obscenities at her as he shoots down her lackeys left and right. They're not letting him move an inch. I elude a bullet sent my way. I can't even tell who shot at me this time. Aurelia and Jinsul stand back, offering their support, Aurelia savagely attacking a vampire while Jinsul shoots it. A pissed off looking vampire jumps in front of me. He swings at me with a knife. A loud gunshot rings through. All I manage to see is blood splattering everywhere before he falls limp to the ground. I look to the side to see Jinsol pointing his gun where the vampire was standing. I give him a little nod and mouth thanks before jumping over the dead vampire and running to Takumi. Oh no. But even as Takumi lies there bleeding, clutching his chest, he sees me and screams. Stay back! Get out of here! I don't want you to get hurt! I throw up a shield to protect myself from a stray bullet as I continue to move closer to him. By who? Azucena? Is it just me or is there like music or something going on in the background? I hear something. Because I turn off the music because I don't want copyright issues. So that's why it's like, what is this? <laughs> or you? Oh, it's gone now. All right. So I'm freaking pissed that he's doing this. What kind of an idiot is he? On the ground, groaning while Naoki attacks Azucena, he manages to mumble. I I'm doing it for you. As Azucena shoots at Naoki, she laughs. How romantic. Are you seriously talking about this during a life or death fight? Naoki runs around her gunshots and tries to grab Azucena, but she manages to whip him in the face with her gun. Jeez, she's a tough cookie. <laughs> she gives him a powerful kick away from her, and he flies in the opposite direction. The moment he lands, one of her guys attacks him. Azucena sets her sights on me. Oh my god. I almost reach Takumi when Azucena runs up to me and grabs me from behind. Ah! No! Seeing this, Takumi struggles, and with blood falling faster, pushes himself to his feet. No, Takumi, stay down! I'm fine! I'm more than fine! With a strange, almost lazy posture, he stares at Az Azucena. How can... How are you standing? Mm. Quickly, she places her gun to my temple, but Taku is suddenly just there in front of me. Oh my gosh. He tears Azucena's arm away from me and pulls me into him. This close to him, I can see the wounds he suffered on his face, the spilling blood from the mingling with the rain. The rips in his clothing, the blood spatters on his clothes. Just how much did Taku suffer at her hands? He raises a single dagger to Azucena, the tip at her throat, and he growls. I've had enough of you! For years you've trampled on people! You've destroyed lives and families to get what you want! Taku presses the dagger into Azucena's throat. Now! Oh jeez, he looks evil! Oh my god, I just looked up and he looks creepy. You're gonna get a taste of your own medicine. 
Something glints under the moonlight as Taku ra raises his lips in an almost inhuman snarl. F fangs? Coupled together with the vicious expression on his face, painted with wounds and blood. It's clear that Takumi isn't human anymore. Taku immediately pushes a dagger into Azucena's throat, but lightning fast. She knocks his wrist away and jumps back. Takumi lets me go and gives me a push towards safety. Then he runs after Azucena and begins swiping and jabbing at her with his dagger furiously. The following fight is so intense that it's hard to follow with my eyes. I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!